Now, bottle bomb investigation. Police are still searching for the suspect who shattered a car windshield using a homemade explosive. The Pinpoint News Tracker takes you to the scene on Hamlet Street in Pawtucket. And the investigators say the damage could have been a lot worse. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in our newsroom now with the details. Uh, officials now tell us that the uh, victim of this bottle rocket explosion wasn't targeted, and the person responsible, though, is facing some serious charges. New Year's Day in Pawtucket. I saw a big puff of smoke on the other side of the street, and. Well, the wind is busted. Officials say someone made an 8-inch bottle rocket and fired it off into the sky. Bust. The device uh, plummeted to earth, exploding into this car. I was watching football in the house. <laughs> the owner of the car laughs about it, but the Pawtucket Fire Marshal says homemade bottle rockets are a serious crime. The concern is not only them lighting them off, but because it was a manufactured device. And, you know, where are they manufacturing it? Um, you know, what conditions are they in when they're doing this? Are they in a basement with a heating system running? No one was injured in this New Year's explosion. The scene was dangerous enough, though, for the captain to call in the bomb squad Sunday night. Could ignite you know, in their presence, uh, you know, you could have uh, shrapnel from it, so it's it's pretty serious. Officials have no leads yet on who the culprit is. Oh, kids probably just messing around. But if found, we've learned they face felony charges for a potentially dangerous explosion. The fire marshal says they'll continue to search for clues until at least tomorrow. Live in the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.